Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading tonight, guys. Happy Saturday. Um, I am chilling with the saucy beaver as per usual. She just had her dinner. That's why she's a little bit late to the reading. <laughs> um, guys, tonight's reading, um, it's going to talk about the feminine energy a little bit. And I know you guys are going to be like, oh, but I want to know what's going on with the divine masculine. Well, I think this reading will be very helpful because the divine masculines are completely focused on the divine feminines right now. Uh, and I feel like that's what I want to tap into a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and just dive in. Okay, so universe, can you please kindly assist us with messages that will help validate the intuition on the journey? How does the outside world see the divine feminine right now? So we have romanticism, okay? I feel that this is a, a beautiful opportunity for many of the divine feminines to continue to extend their lighthearted energies because what's happening is many of you are becoming more aware <laughs> of what it is you desire. And if you're in the divine feminine energy, you're starting to attract very healthy masculine energy into your life. And, you know, in turn, it's creating a lot of romanticism in your own life. In the past videos that I've done, I think within the last couple of days, I talked about the divine feminines really valuing themselves, putting themselves on a pedestal rather than putting your divine masculine on a pedestal. Many of you have started putting yourselves on a pedestal and I feel like you've earned it. You deserve it. It's it's not cocky. It's not arrogant. Um, I feel like many of you have spent a great deal of your lives putting other people on pedestals. And now it's time for you to do that for yourself. And this energy is creating a beautiful balance within you because if you are in the divine feminine energy, but you've been mainly focused, you know, uh, too much on on your divine feminine embodiment sometimes you can you can get stuck right like you, you can get to a place where it becomes difficult to imagine what it's like to draw boundaries say no to others you know have your own back you know it becomes difficult to remember what that feels like when a woman is too much in her feminine energy and she's not embodying the ability to be able to tap into that masculine side of her when she needs it what will end up happening is you know people will overstep her boundaries and she'll oftentimes find herself in a position to say or it's difficult to say no it's difficult to say no to others demands on her time and energy but i feel like many of you are mastering this now and this is a divine feminine that really doesn't care for a romantic relationship yet you have many suitors right now fantasizing about a romantic relationship with you okay so i just want to remind you guys to enjoy this energy and don't be too uptight and just allow things to flow and yes, we are on this twin flame journey. Yes, we are very much aware of who our divine masculine counterpart is. But right now is a time for the masculine collectives to focus on themselves. And in turn, what the universe is doing is providing you with experiences that are trying to match your alignment and your vibration. Um, if many of you are rejecting that, then there's still inner work need to be needed to be done. But if you're in that feminine space of realizing your value and your worth, you're not going to wait on anybody else's timeline. You're going to continue to go with the flow and charge ahead and move forward. So this reading is for many of you who you can sense it, like you can feel it. There's many, many suitors around you that are romanticizing either their relationship with you, their friendship with you, their interaction with you. Um, it, it's, it's something that you will have to eventually deal with in <laughs> Divine Feminine. Um, and you have to em embrace it and allow yourself to expand outside of the Twin Flame box, okay? Because some of us can sometimes feel very boxed into this journey. We practice a lot of celibacy. Uh, we try to maintain that high priestess frequency, where we're constantly studying, we're constantly devoted to the knowledge, 
and the spiritual information around the twin flame journey but i feel like it's time for the feminines to move forward in a different way again mega always sets the tone for these readings um i do feel like it's genuine genuinely time for the divine feminines to sometimes step off of the twin flame path in a way where it focuses too much on your counterpart and it puts the focus back into yourself and i feel like it's very triggering for many of us to envision ourselves with anybody else but our divine masculine but you know the more you guys grow in your feminine energy the more you'll find that your idea of what masculine or divine masculine energy is you attract it whether you like it or not and sometimes it's not your counterpart because they're not there yet so you might be in this feeling of wanting to be romanticized right you want to be romanced but it's not showing up in the form of your divine masculine instead it's showing up from other masculine energies in your life who know how to give you exactly what it is you want they accept you for all that you are and they see you as valuable and worthy but you're you're the only reason you're bringing that or attracting that into your life is because you're starting to see yourself in that way um how do you see yourself divine feminine <laughs> fertility many of you are ready to give birth to something new it is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions, okay? So it doesn't always have to be that you're fertile and you want to have a baby. It just means that many of you, I feel like with Ostara's energy, her goddess energy, you're allowing yourselves now to experience flirting, extending your lighthearted energy to others, and trusting fully in the twin flame journey in a way that, you know, if this is truly your soul counterpart they're going to want you to go on this journey right they're going to want you to flirt and ex and extend yourself and accept energy from others that it's it's reciprocated right it's it, many of you are having like these very beautiful divine masculine energies come towards you and it may not be your twin flame but nonetheless it's still beautiful divine masculine energy and I feel like it's throwing many of you off guard. You're like, OMG, what do I do? Like, this is exciting. It's beautiful. But then there's some of you as well who might be scared, right? It's like, it's very triggering to have such mature, bold, forward, masculine energy come towards you. I think that for many of you on the twin flame journey, you've experienced your divine masculine counterpart being so immersed in their masculinity that it feels strange sometimes to experience true masculinity where a man can take action and be forward and they can come and court you and they can, you know, sometimes catch you off guard because when you guys are oftentimes dealing with your twin flame, you're used to being the one that's pursuing. But then when you start doing that spiritual work, doing the inner work, embodying your true femininity, it does catch you quite off guard when you have a divine masculine <laughs> genuinely pursuing you and catching you off guard, right? It's like you're used to doing the planning. All of a sudden, you have masculine energies coming towards you that they already have it figured out. They already know what to say. They already know what to do. Um, and many of you are like, OMG, this is amazing. <laughs> so embrace it, guys. I'm going to get another card from the goddess deck here before i figure out what kind of lessons this is meant to teach us on our twin flame journey okay so how else is the suitors that are in your life divine feminine like what else do they appreciate about you what else can we you know figure out about your goddess energy here that is putting you into such balance to attract such beautiful magic in your life how does the outside world see you okay so we have sigmet goddess sigmet says be strong you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome i feel like you're attracting these strong beautiful divine masculine energies into your life because you are very sure of yourself sigmet tells me strength card be strong you are very sure of who it is you are and what it is you want and that's exactly why many of you are attracting the type of divine masculine energies into your life right now that's not your twin flame and your twin flame is going to feel the effects of this by also moving in toward and in the path of true divine masculinity because 
I don't know, like I'm just getting the vibe of like competition here with the two lions. And, you know, the more you guys embody this energy of staying true and authentic to who it is you are at the core, you're not only bringing in suitors toward you <laughs> that want to match this energy of yours, but it's like it's also transforming your twin flame to try to match that energy as well. And that is also bringing about unique lessons for them in their own experience of divine masculinity okay um what's this meant to teach you both um like together on the on this beautiful journey together as twin flames oftentimes there's like a, a beautiful charge between twin flames as well that's often you know you guys love each other you can't do without each other it doesn't matter what type of dynamic it is at the end of the day it's it's the energy like you can't do without this person's energy it doesn't matter how it shows up it's just the fact that you want them in your life what are you both meant to learn from this at this time let's cut the deck in half okay so we have fidelity being loyal to one another okay even in moments of separation okay i think i talked about this in the last reading i posted tonight which you know mention that the divine feminines are handling the separation and the cycles of separation in a way that it's irritating right i feel like for your masculines it's like they know they kind of have to go off and leave the gate here and, and do their fair share of lessons on their own and there's the divine feminine having complete faith in this journey but the masculines it's almost like they're hesitating to leave right they're hesitating to leave that gate because they don't like the fact that you're just standing there having faith in all of this they expect that you're supposed to be stressed out, you know, like losing your shit over the separation. Um, but many of you are like, no, I trust the separation. You know, I trust the lessons that separation brings. But I feel like a lot of your masculines are like, I don't like the lessons that separation is bringing because that's going to potentially mean you exchanging energy with other people and I just don't like it. That's what I feel from your divine masculines. If I can, if I can be quite frank and honest that's what i feel from the divine masculines you know what i don't like the fact that this whole twin flame journey is now all of a sudden bringing up lessons where you need to go and venture off and explore other masculine energies what's your best course of action right now to handle this uh, possessiveness and jealousy divine masculines okay so we have the empress so it's the number three card it says time to take action <laughs> like what's the best way to handle this divine masculines all right it's so it's to take action okay so the power of creativity success that allows you for a life of luxury um you know the feminine energy is all about balance for the divine masculines right now the feminine energy um within the empress is exactly what they need to tap into the creativity part of it all is many of your divine masculines realizing that you know, they can't be too rigid on this journey. In fact, I read a, a, a quote the other day um, that I can't remember who said it. And if if any of you do remember like the YouTube short or like the information on it, please do post it. But they talked about like, you know, logic, right? And we all know the masculine energy is built of logic. But sometimes when you have too much logic, it's like a knife with all blade. If you go to use the knife, your hand bleeds, right? You need the handle with the feminine energy there. And I feel like the handle on this knife is the empress energy. And many of your masculines are being guided to take some sort of an, an appropriate action on this journey that has to do with authenticity, having integrity, having self-respect, ha obeying their morals and values that are within them in order to move forward and that's part of matching that divine masculine energy that so many of you are attracting at a fast pace into your lives divine feminine okay but they're they're realizing that in order to do that they're gonna have to start embodying and at least respecting this type of empress energy that needs to come forward this empress energy is the exact reason why they're so attracted to you in the first place it's just gonna take them a bit of time to realize that in order to match your energy they also have to embody some of this empress energy within their divine masculine um, sense of self just a little bit in order to match your energy this is going to be like the secret ingredient um, as to how it is they're going to match your energy it's it's taking action it's going with the flow it's hoping for the best it's staying optimistic about your love life 
All right, and that's a direct message from the Romance Angel Oracle deck. All right, so that's what I have for you guys for tonight. You guys, uh, you know, take it as you will. Take what resonates. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next reading, okay? All right, good night, guys. Bye.